I mean, we knew getting a sunburn was dangerous, but not, like, deadly. Hey, Internet, I'm Steve the Cosmere Knot, and welcome to Raffo. Secret Project 4! The final book of the Year of Sanderson is finally here. And it's so good! But now we gotta open up the hard copy, and I'm so excited! Here we go. The Sunlit Man, Secret Project number four. And the inaugural use of Nightblood, the sword that Brandon gave to all of his fans because he dedicated a book to them. And... Step. Oh, gosh. Step? Step. Ah, there we go. Nightblood is much more of a stabbing weapon than a slashing weapon, apparently. Wow, that's a long quote. Okay. Oh... The Cosmere character pin of Kaladin. That's very nice. Look at that with the swirly sill spear. Love it. Ooh, that's a good sticker of Nomad. Lovely foiling. Explanatory postcard thing. And a most excellent bookmark. Ooh, of both. Fun. So we've got Elegy and Nomad and Rebecca. And then the book itself. Ugh. So pretty. For the quotes, the entire box. Okay. The black pages on this one are a good choice. Ugh. Nightblood, you could be sharper. Then again, he is more of a blunt instrument anyway. Isn't he? Gorgeous. That's awesome. The sticker is basically, it's exactly that. It, oh, look, it even lines up. That's fun. Not quite the same size, but it's nearly there. All right. Oh. Yeah, end papers. Of course, we've got the dual color printing. All of you, fans of the Cosmere. Yeah, this book is mine, everybody. Also, yours. So this is the the only of the secret projects that was illustrated by three people. We've got Hernanda Souza, who did the end papers and then the full color insert art, like that. Nabetsi Zitro, who did the dual color art on the inside, like that. Hey, wit. And then Kudraiken did the cover art, which is very nice. This book is very good. I didn't really do much of a review on my Cosmere Connections video of this. This book is fantastic. I loved it. I felt like the pace was very good. Sanderson wanted it to be like a driving, very moving forward book. And I feel like that was accomplished. I mean, it would be hard not to do that with just the setting, which I guess is just great world building. But yeah, this was a very driven book in terms of the pacing. I loved all of the callbacks to other books and other stories. I felt like, again, this would be very confusing if you were not already fully aware of what was going on in the Cosmere, at least having read the Stormlight Archive. But the art inside is absolutely gorgeous. I love that they chose to do the blackened pages on here. One of the other just like random things that I really enjoyed about this book, in regards to my representation video, this page shows Nomad and Rebecca and Zeal, who likely has achondroplasia, which is the most common type of disproportionate dwarfism. It's not like a plot point, it's just person. It's a character. I love it. Having people of different experiences and viewpoints as people in your worlds is just really valuable. I love that we have Zeal. Also, another thing that I love about Zeal, when Zeal first meets Nomad and suspects that Nomad might be deaf, he very easily signs to him, implying that Zeal knows the local sign language, which is just really cool. Yeah, this book is just it's gorgeous. Oh, look at that. I did have very serious questions about what the wildlife on this planet looked like and how they could survive and, like, eat food on a planet where every, what was it, like 10 hours, the entire landscape is reformed. But uh, that makes sense. I still, I still wonder about the soil. How are things growing? It's fine. Also, it says that Wit is in a blue uniform specifically, rather than a black uniform. I got questions still. I got so many questions. I'm worried about Secret Project 5. And of course, the most exciting and very, very, very spoilery piece of art in the entire book. I mean, oh, okay. That one's very good. Bridge 4. But also, there it is. Zellian. Brandon, you little stinker. Again, so many questions about this shard plate now. Is it inherently weaker because of all the cracks in the burning? Or like it or is it just different? And is I don't hmm. And then of course Nomad ending up on Utol, 
which is the other planet in the system where Yumi happens. Oh, man. Gorgeous book. Absolutely stunning. Great story. Not for the uninitiated. I know we've got two more boxes for the Year of Sanderson, but this is the final actual book. So for many people, this is the last thing they're getting. I'm getting all of it, and I'm real excited still. Oh, we haven't looked at the thing. Spoiler warning, this box contains a man called Nomad, with the tale of a familiar stranger. So great. So good. So great and good. Good. Thank you, Dragonsteel, for such a fantastic year, and thank you, viewer, for viewing. Next week, I'm planning on digging into the recent Doctor Who release from Magic the Gathering. I just got all four Commander decks, and I'm real excited to play them over the course of this week. That video should be up early for all of my patrons. Thank you specifically to Doug, Matt, Steve, Data Gremlin, Alec, and Craig. I'm working on finishing up getting swag sent out to these very patrons. So if you would like to get some pre-Dragonsteel Convention swag from me, your uh, favorite Cosmere YouTuber, right? Sign up at my Patreon. We've got pins. We've got stickers. I'm working on shirts. And I'm also finishing up all of my things that I'm going to be selling at my booth at Dragonsteel. Vials of spores and edibles metal sprinkles. <laughs> Also, like, five different kinds of Cosmere-themed freeze-dried candy. It's gonna be great. I am still working on finishing Rhythm of War. The Cosmere Connections videos for that will be coming soon, as soon as I compile all of my notes for it. There's a lot of notes. I have been reading and finding out. I feel like this should be... It's just this, nope, it's that. Oh, there we go. That's how you flip it. Figured it out. Uh, Die for the Grombagism. That's not it.